Nick, you're already in the mix, obviously, with this team playing guard and things, and that Ryan goes down. Um, just talk about the ability uh, for you to, to be able to go from guard to center, whatever required there. Um, first and foremost, you know, I just want to speak and say, you know, it's always hard to see a teammate go down, um, especially Ryan Jensen. Um, he's he's my role model. Um, he's a great leader, and it's a guy that I truly look up to. Um, so, you know, I just want to say, you know, I, I really appreciate Ryan for everything he's done, not only for me, but for this team, this organization. I'm not saying anything like nothing extreme, but, you know, I just want to salute Ryan for all that he's done and all that he does. Um, so, yeah. But can you repeat your question one more time? Just to your versatility now coming into play that, you know, you can play all those line positions and now, you know, probably getting a little more work at center maybe than you were, I don't know. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, like I told y'all last year, that's, that's what I'm here for, to compete, whether it's center, guard, tackle, fullback, quarterback, it don't matter. I'm going to compete my, ass, my behind off wherever I'm at. Sorry about that. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's my biggest thing. Um, wherever the opportunity is um, at, um, I'm gonna go for it. Where's your comfort level snapping in, in, in practice in a game? Where would it be right now? Uh, I'm I'm very comfortable with snapping. Um, I'm extremely comfortable with it. Yeah. I think this line as a whole, you, you guys have a lot of guys that are kind of. You think about the top six or seven spots are probably spoken for on this line, but there's a lot of competition for the last. Now you'd say two or three jobs. Tell me what that's like and how much you guys are pushing each other, especially for the for versatility side of things. Absolutely. I mean, that's the thing about our offensive line. A lot of us are, you know, very versatile. Um, but it's it's no hatred towards either one of us. We all take on the job, and we know we all take on the opportunity as the same. You know, we try to help each other out. Um, it's not one man leaving another man out. So, I mean, it's good to have a whole bunch of guys that are very versatile and can play at uh, many positions. Um, John Moshine, for instance, he, he can play center pretty good. He can play guard pretty good. Um, Brandon Walton, same way. Guy that can play all interior positions, can play tackle as well. Um, Hainsey, you know, all those guys, all of us, we can all play multiple positions. So, I mean, I think it's good for all of us to be able to go out there and compete and make each other better. I know you're, you're such a young player, but I gotta believe, especially with as close as you are with Ryan, like, you realize kind of the fragility of, like, even though you guys, your bodies aren't fragile, but the I mean, for the whole team, it was just emotionally a lot. Um, you know, like I said earlier, we hate to see a guy go down, um, whether it's a team captain, whether it's the first, second, third string guy. Um, but, you know, like I said, Ryan, um, he's a true role model to me. I love the way he plays. I love the way he studies. I love everything he does. Um, so for me, just to see him going down, it took an emotional toll on me. Um, but I know Ryan. I know how hard he works at everything, and I know he's going to be back soon. So. Robert was Hainsey was a rookie last year. How much have you seen him grow from, from this Robert, year? Hainsey? Yeah. Substantially. The guy's so smart. Um, that's the thing. Like that's what makes us close because you know we 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 are deep in our playbook. Um, we go at it. We compete. Well, we compete in a good way with each other um, to make each other better. Um, you know that's a guy who I've seen. You know when he first got here and um, just to see the level of growth that he's had is crazy. Um, honestly, one of the smartest guys in the room, if not the smartest. Um, so, yeah. The competition's pretty much between you and Hainsey. What's the conversation like between you guys, and how will you guys kind of feed off of each other and learn from each other while Jensen's out? Um, I wouldn't say that it's clear that it's between me and him. Um, like I said, you got other guys in there that can snap as well. You got John Moshine, you got um, Brandon Walton. Um, but for me and Hainsey, you know, we, we don't even look at it as we competing against each other. We, we look at it as we're, we're getting each other better. Um, and, you know, everything's going to fall into place like it's supposed to. Um, so there's no awkwardness between us. Um, there's no hatred towards us. Um, we honestly love it because we know we're getting better. Um, the whole group, we know we're getting each other better um, in all aspects. So, yeah, that's how it's kind of been. There's going to be some shuffling on the line. What have you seen out of Luke Gadecki so far? Luke is learning. Um, Luke has came a long way since when he first got here. Um, and he's going to be a great player. Has Tom said anything to you or uh, um, who you're Robert. Robert 
has Tom said anything to you guys specifically now that it might be you guys now? Um, you know, just this whole past 24 hours has been a, you know, a world of emotions and, you know, it's just been crazy. So, I mean, honestly, yeah, I mean, it's been a lot going on. Yeah. But who would be his center? Like, with, with Tom, it's, it's, you kind of can't be afraid of the moment. You can't be afraid of, of stepping in, right? Like, he asks so much of his center, but, you know, you have to kind of step in there and just take a hold of it if you want that. Like, what's the mentality like when you do that? Knowing you have this enormous opportunity in front of you. I mean, the thing for me is whether it's Tom, whether it's Kyle, whether it's Blaine, whether, whether it's Griff, um, I'm going to prepare the same way. Um, I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to make sure my mind says to be the first one here, the last one out. Um, my mind says to be this hard, the hardest worker and to compete against myself. Um, so, honestly, for me, it doesn't matter who the quarterback is. It's more so of me being the best player I can be for my team and my uh, teammates. Starter goes down on a team that's a Super Bowl contender. There's a lot of chatter outside about, okay, they need to bring somebody in to replace this guy. What's your message for, for the rest of the world in terms of you guys being able to, to step into this role? Um, for me, you know, the team has to do what they have to do. Um, but you have a whole bunch of great guys who put in a time and effort to, you know, not only play one position, but play multiple positions. So. Um, we all work hard. We we are all in we are all in our playbooks, and we work hard in the weight room. So um, I think we have a whole bunch of great candidates here. Um, but like I said, you know I'm an unselfish guy. So you know the team has to do what they have to do.